Yo, it's Sway. 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 The Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. I don't know what I did to him. I don't know what I did to him, Heather. You know, we we you know we were cre we were creating freestyling songs on the on the radio last time he came, and then I haven't even heard. Uh, you know, you heard from him since. Yeah, yeah, but it was four strong bars, Blues. You know, it was a four strong bar. You know, uh, uh, Uncle Murder is here. Bullet, bullet, definitely. East Brooklyn. New Down. Yeah. Brooklyn. I get money, I get money. Ooh, I'm getting paper. I ain't playing, I ain't playing. I smack the shit out of the hater at the door with the falls. Ooh, they calling me Biggie. These rappers is imposters. Oh, Millie Vanilli. Yeah, man. TFG. <laughs> hey, what up? Man? How you been, man? I've been good. I can't complain. You know, ever since you were recording with Mariah and all that stuff, man, things changed. <laughs> things done changed. Things done changed, man. Nah, I'm still the same. Sway, I'm still the same. You're still, still the same. I'm still the same. All sway. right, all right, man. It's good to see you, man. <laughs> Definitely. You know, same you here. ain't spent all that money from that deal around not up, to, not, not not yet. I still got some LA Reed money left. Okay, cool. Maybe we can do lunch or something, man. <laughs> Your treat. Um, no problem. Okay, now, now you out here for the a tribute as well. Yeah, you okay. Know, Chris Lighty was managing me as well. Too, uh huh. So, yeah. As a manager, we talk about him as a manager. Um, just as an artist who was managed by him, what do you think separated him from other managers? I just like the how I was able to just speak my mind with Chris. Like even when I first met Chris, I was like, "Yo, man, you need a shoot over here." <laughs> you mean like basketball? <laughs> now, Chris, you need a shoot a damn too. <laughs> Cause I was just walking around his office. He like, oh word. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, and I'm perfect for you. I'm like, yo, but and I rap too. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> he was like, all right, give me the CD. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So then, anything goes when it's war. Dudes don't even shot up my grandma. <laughs> he heard the music and the next day he called me like, get up here. Uh -huh. You lucky, motherfucker. Your shit was hot. You know what I mean? So get up here, then. From there, it was on with me and Chris. He helped me get the first deal with me, him, two ass. Uh -huh. We went and got the deal with Jay-Z. Uh -huh. Then things didn't work out when um, Jay had left Def Jam. Uh -huh. So we just kept on grinding. Then we went and got the next deal with L.A. Reed. Uh -huh. Wow. And we was just, you know, working, getting it right, but we had to get it going. Uh -huh. uh, Blue Williams, who was, to me, as... If there was a, a, an equal to uh, Chris's tenacity... Oh, Blue lets you know that, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Michael Blue Williams, if, you know, I know he probably, you know, out of respect, he don't cringe today, but when people say how great Chris was as a manager, he probably, oh, I was better. <laughs> All right, because you had so much success uh, managing uh, various groups, including Outkast and, and many others. Um, over the years, you guys formed a partnership, right? Did, did, yeah, did you? we we formed Primary Violator. Mm -hmm. um, really, with the intent of a couple of reasons. One, we were tired of butting heads, going after the same artists all the time. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. tired here, and Chris had got somebody, uh, vice versa, and so we decided that together we could just build a, a, a more perfect union uh -huh. and and create a place for for artists to want to come to. And but then also we wanted to show. That you know, two strong black men could could do business and form a partnership together, mm -hmm. and 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 create a place that that other young managers could come, and so we we formed the company, and it was a chance for me to work with somebody that was like an idol for me yeah. when I first started. Mm -hmm. You know, there were um, people speculated that Chris was having troubles, so you guys forming that partnership was a, a part to in part to bail him out. Is there any truth to that? No, I think the the partnership was that as managers. See, if, when people look at it on the outside, people don't understand what managers, what your life is. You know, as a manager, you can go through ebbs and flows. It's just mm -hmm. the nature of the game. When your artist is in, is out and has something out, then you, you're in the middle of a hot cycle. Mm -hmm. And if your artists have, like, are all recording, then you have a slow period. That doesn't mean, like, you need financial bailout or anything. Yeah. But I think it was more about we have to be progressive in our thinking. Chris didn't believe in, in <coughs> that there were any ceilings in this game. Mm -hmm. And... We had to, you got to be planning around. The labels are consolidating. The, the, the radio stations are consolidating. Everything's consolidating. So we, we know that there's more power in numbers. Yeah. So uh -huh. it's not, it's not, that's people speculating. The reality is we're just, just trying to build a powerful company. It's Sway in the Morning. Only on Shade 45.